I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get your new AMD Ryzen CPU installed into your motherboard. With this tutorial, you're going to be on your way to getting your new PC set up and running in no time. Let's get started. Before you start handling any sensitive electronic components, I recommend you discharge the static electricity from your body first. And the easiest way to do that is to just touch something metal, like the legs of a table or your desk. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is where the CPU socket's located on your motherboard. It's this rectangular piece right here. It's usually centered near the top of the board. You can see it's surrounded by power components over here and the RAM slots over on this side. This is an AMD AM5 socket that supports Ryzen 7000, 8000, and 9000 series processors at the time of recording this video near the end of 2024. And it may end up supporting future generations as well, but we don't know that yet. Socket AM5 has 1718 contact pins in a LAND grid array, or LGA for short. And that just basically means all those contact pins are inside the socket instead of being on the backside of the CPU. You can see along the side here, there's a steel arm being held down under a little clip that sticks out from the side of the socket. This is what keeps the socket closed and puts pressure on the CPU to maintain contact with all those little pins in there. To access the socket, we need to press down on the end of the arm and then slide it out and away from the little clip. As soon as you do that, it's gonna to wanna to pop up on its own because it's under tension. And you can see it just becomes loose and wobbly once all that tension's released. Now we can lift up the load plate, which is this piece here covering up the pins. That just flips upwards and now we have full access to the socket. Now that we have those pins exposed, it's very important to be as careful and delicate as possible. These pins are extremely fragile and can be bent or damaged pretty easily. So don't touch anything in there and make sure nothing falls onto the socket. Basically just pay close attention to what you're doing and keep your workspace neat and tidy so that you don't have any expensive accidents. Now we need to get our CPU unboxed. This is a Ryzen 9 9950X from the latest 9000 series, which is socket AM5 compatible. If you have a different model, don't worry, because it doesn't matter. The AM5 installation process is exactly the same. CPUs come packaged in a little plastic case for protection during shipping. If we open this up, the top part of the CPU, the silver part with the writing on it, that's called the Integrated Heat Spreader, or IHS for short. That's what transfers heat from the processor cores up to the cooler to keep everything from overheating. If we take the CPU out of here and have a look at the bottom, you'll see there's tons of little gold colored pads on there. Each one of those pads makes contact with a corresponding pin in the motherboard socket. It's important that these stay clean, so when you're handling your CPU, try to keep your fingers on the outside edge on the green part there. We don't want to touch the contact pads on the bottom or the IHS on the top because our fingers have all kinds of oils and other stuff that can contaminate these sensitive surfaces. We talked about how each pad on the back of the CPU needs to make direct contact with one of the pins in the motherboard socket. So how do you know which way to put the CPU in to make sure everything lines up? There's a few things that help with that, and if there's anything you take away from this video, let it be this. If you look closely at the CPU, you'll notice a little triangle in one of the corners. And if you look at the outer edges, you'll notice some little notches, one here and one over here. Now if we go back to our motherboard socket, you'll see there's a little triangle in one of the corners on the load plate. This one's actually on the black plastic cover, but there's also one printed right on the load plate itself below that. And underneath the load plate, there's also one right there on the frame of the socket. If we take a closer look at the area around the pins, we can see there's two little bump outs, one here and one here. Those are designed to fit into those little notches on the edges of the CPU. All right, so to make sure our CPU goes into the socket the right way, we just have to make sure the triangle and notches on the CPU line up with the triangle and bump outs on the socket. In this case, it's gonna go in just like this. Now we're gonna get ready to lower the CPU down into the socket. You wanna try to go straight down, keeping the back of the CPU parallel with the socket so all the contacts touch the pins at the same time. That way you're not putting any excessive loads on certain pins. We're gonna go straight down and gently set it into the socket. It shouldn't take any force or pressure whatsoever. Just let gravity do its work. Sometimes I like to give it a very gentle little wiggle just to make sure everything's seated properly because it can be hard to tell from just looking at it from above. This looks good. Now we can put the CPU load plate back down over the CPU. If you're using a brand new board, it's probably gonna have a protective cover like I have right here. Don't worry about trying to remove it because it's gonna come off on its own as soon as we close the socket. We're gonna to start to push the retention arm back down. And remember, it has to fit underneath that little side clip to make sure it stays down. So we press it all the way down, and at the bottom, we're gonna slide it in towards the socket and under that clip and let go. That's it, the CPU is officially installed, but it's not ready to start working yet. Next, you're gonna to need to install a cooler, and that may involve applying your own thermal paste depending on the model you go with. 
you need help installing coolers or applying thermal paste, I have detailed tutorials to walk you through the process for all that stuff. Check the description, I'll link those videos for you down there. I hope this video gave you the confidence to install your own AMD Ryzen CPU. If it did, give it a thumbs up and get subscribed on your way out. And we'll see you soon.